with the goats. Uh, I just built them a new uh, part on their pen. We got Marshall there, the male goat. Um, so we have him and three other girls. So it was kind of getting cramped in that one little spot there. So what I did is I came in and I didn't have any more of that wood that I had before. That uh, pine board with the bee, the grooves in it. Um, so I just took and you can see I kind of matched the molding up on top oh, um, that I put up there. I just used plywood. Um, and the way I put the paint on is a little unconventional, but it worked. Um, I just put it in like a sprayer like you'd use for your garden. And um, I think it was one gallon to about a half or a little over a half a gallon of water. And mix the two together and then I could spray it out with the uh, sprayer. And um, let me walk in here and you'll see. Uh, I put a shelf up here for, the, uh, for their feed and um, stuff that we use. Oh, let's see if I can turn my light on. Uh, I went ahead and sprayed all the uh, walls inside here too. Um, everything was sprayed. Um, even sprayed. I didn't spray the very, very top pieces there that holds on the metal on the roof. But you can see at times when you spray it on with that deck spray, I went back over it with a paintbrush too. So just kind of wiped it down with a paintbrush. But um, it does an okay job. Uh, over here, I went ahead and, uh, like I say, this was brown. If you look into some of my old videos, uh, I took a, uh, side grinder with a wire brush on it. It was not a real aggressive wire brush, but a decently aggressive. And, uh, went over it, uh, with that wire brush. You can see some little spots like that right up here, and I had a run. I forgot to go back and wipe it one more time. I sprayed it because I saw that little place where it was bad and I sprayed it forgot to go back and take the paintbrush and go over it. But it's odd. It's just a goat pen. But I went ahead and sprayed the inside of their pen and on this side too. Um, I got it all. Like I say, um, it's not it's, it's not perfectly painted. You know? I mean, I didn't really want it uh, you know, a uh, a lot of paint in there but I didn't want it to be because that was unprotected wood too and a lot of times they get wet they go in there and shake off and water would hit the side of the walls and you can see the hanging feeder I got there all of them's ready for some food it's about time for them to eat that's where I put their alfalfa I just throw some in there and they go in there and eat it that way it don't get spread everywhere um their little water bowl I just put it on a little pad it used to be right over there uh, but yeah it's it came along pretty good I just used the same size metal on the top um, we got it as square as we could I mean it's it's not like we were I mean you put post in the ground it's hard to keep everything perfectly uh, squared off and keep it you know 100% true so and then I went ahead and cut this piece of metal off and uh, got it to where kids can't hit their head on it I, it's leaning this way a little bit because the fence leans down this way and I didn't want to have to go put another post right in there, another taller piece. It's not that bad. I just put that there to where um, they like to get out here when it's raining and they'll just lay up under there and they don't get wet. Goats or mine don't like to get wet. I don't know if it's all goats or what. But, uh, yeah, there it is. I left my little gate. I didn't uh, paint it. Because I wanted to be able to see, you know, people, you know, when they walk up, they always ask, why do I have a, what is that? And I tell them it's a gate, so now they'll be able to tell it's a gate. But yeah, um, sweet feed and some, um, they've been eating a lot of leaves and acorns and um, the alfalfa, we give them that, you know, um, pretty decent, you know, amount each day. That way their diet stays pretty good. But yeah, I'm going to start giving my pigs some uh, sweet feed. It's a little cheaper. I'm going to kind of half it out between the two of them. Uh, take and just put about a half a bag of uh, sweet feed and a half a bag of pig feed. Mix it up and see how they like it. Hopefully it'll cut down on my feed bill. Because they do eat a lot. And you can see how big they're getting. 
But, uh, okay, well, I'll, um, well, here, let me, I'll walk around the back and show you. I've got it all the way painted around the back, too. Uh, like I say, it, if you take a deck, I mean, well, not a deck spray, like just for a garden, uh, is what I used. And like I say, I just thinned it up, but you can tell it's plywood. I had a seam right there, so I put a board, and then there was another seam between the two right there. You can still see a hairline crack between it. Uh, the way it worked out, I couldn't do no, you know. It was a little bit further out at the top than it was the bottom, so I just stuck a piece in there. I mean, there's no, not that much air or anything when we get through it. But yeah, you can see kind of this didn't paint as good as the uh, plywood did. It's, um, uh, I should have probably went over it one more time, but I was running out of paint. So, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And the roof goes all the way across. I'm thinking about putting a gutter on it and catching it and running it around and putting a bowl on that lower side down there and let the water run into it. Alright, well, uh, let me look back around here and I'll show you this how, this right here, you can see kind of how that goes on there. Um, I did cut the board off right there that was higher. And like I say, I mean, it's something that, you know, I mean, we don't have that much snow, so. But there it is. And there, that's what they were waiting for is to eat. So. That's it. Hopefully this is the last barn I'm going to have to, or little shed I'm going to have to build for the uh, goats. Alright, y'all have a good one.